Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing some Hearts of Iron 4 as the United States in our Democracy Edition of our campaign. So, right now you're looking at a couple Marines, kind of green Marines, because many were um, removed from the game, unfortunately, from the Japanese Empire, by the Japanese Empire, as we are relocating them to the Philippines, as well as a literal invasion as we speak into the island of Palu. Palau. Palau. Sure. Yes. Very much Palau. Alright, so... We, uh, that's not bad. That's that's pretty good congressional support. I'm not going to really worry about that. Uh, da -da -da, war support. And if we get more consumer factories... Uh, civilian factories, whatever. We already have a bunch. I'm not really worried about that. Our, we're not really focusing very hard on our... A land capacity for war. I mean, we've made a bunch of divisions already. And I was focusing a bunch on the Navy in this playthrough. Just because it was our first playthrough with Man the Guns. Wow. This is a lot of coastal defenders here. Love it. What is this? You guys are detached and moving to repair in Saipan. Alright then. Can we take this northern island? I really doubt it. We'll see what happens. Ooh, we lost a sub. I don't care about the sub as long, as long as we don't lose these two marine divisions. Which I don't think we will. Oh, they're trying to attack our convoys. Attacking a few ships. Ooh, FDR. Oh, no. A representative speaks passionately in support of FDR and the government. Okay, so there's no one down here. Great job, guys. And we will garrison at Palau as well. Oh, whoops. Wrong tool. There we go. So you're going to capture the airfield, which is great. Oh my gosh. These guys are dying. Please don't die. Please don't die. For the love of God, please don't die here. Uh, I'm going to convert all of you guys over here. Switch immediately. Just, I don't... Oh no. We lost a convoy. I might have lost a marine. Oh, I lost a marine division. I'm so sorry. God dang it. I can't believe I lost a marine division. How do they have air superiority over here? We took out their air base. Oh, not yet. God dang it. Oh, that's my fault. That's completely my fault. Do we have any more Marines being made? How am I not making any more Marines? Make another two divisions, and they'll come to San Francisco. That was completely my fault. I already told them to go at the end of the last episode, so... Oh, darn it. That sucks. Uh, you are... Where are you guys? You guys are just hanging out in Douglas MacArthur's army... We've got two of these divisions that should be infantry divisions, really. Oh, not, no, 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 not cavalry. Infantry. There we go. Uh, you know what? Since you're not doing anything, you might as well train. It probably wouldn't hurt our stockpiles too much. Maybe except for medium tanks, but... Let's see, medium tanks. We have a total of seven divisions, which we are trying to make 40 width divisions. See? And I asso... Asso? I also added some tanks to make, some more tanks and another motorized battalion to make this a 40 width division while we are currently researching modern tanks, which would be great. Awesome. So now we officially have full, pretty much full air support over here, supposedly. And I will move, I guess we only have 200 planes here, huh? Or slots for 200 planes over here. My gosh, how do they have air superiority? How do we not have air superiority? Uh, no, I guess it's kind of stormy, so kind of rainy. So I guess that would not be very good for us. Go ahead and do that. Get them up to 200. Split them in half. There you go. Infiltration bombing. Nice. Strategic bombing visibility. Awesome. And let's go straight to the next one. It's 1944. So more air superiority mission efficiency and ace generation chance. Oh. That's not good. Why are my convoys over there? Hmm. Anyways. Anyways. Oh, wait, I lost the other Marines? God. I'm so sorry, guys. Going to the Philippines was a mistake. It is and always will be a mistake. But, I still need to invade Taiwan. So, I'm so sorry about that. But, at the current moment, I need you to rebase. Oh, it's over there. All these ports are on the left side here. Uh, that's not good. That's really not good. Let's see. I don't have air su naval superiority over here. Come to Manila, if you can. 
I know we have a lot of not a lot of good things around here all right so I want you guys to retreat is there maybe you need better supplies maybe I don't want to delete you because you guys are useful you three and I want to transfer you somewhere else actually you can come to oh, I don't want to go down there really God dang it, I can't believe I lost those three divisions. Come to Saipan. And we still have what? We have our strike force in the Mariana region, because we did take this island, and Chile took that island. So we don't exactly need this place anymore, because we do have a couple spots for planes here. Heavy fighters, tactical bomber twos. That could actually be very good, especially if you wanted to do a little damage to Taiwan, Okinawa. Oh. This is Iwo Jima, Okinawa, I think. And then the homeland of the Japanese islands. Aww. Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, we can't really do much at the moment, so just keep doing the Mariana region, and I will convert these guys to position themselves to do other types of attacks with a greater amount of resources soon. Uh, you know what? Here's something I want to complain about. I don't... I'm sure this is not a bug, but I hate that if you have a puppet, you can't build radar stations in their lands. That makes absolutely no sense. You can build air bases, you can build infrastructure, you can build AA guns, but not radar. No, 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 that's not good. I don't understand why we cannot do that. I mean, it makes no sense to me personally why we can't build any sort of radar. Even maybe, even, sometimes you can build level one, sometimes you can't build anything in your puppet's lands. So. I know a lot of people generally don't like radar for some reason. They think it's inefficient, ineffective. I find it to be incredibly effective. It tells me where enemies are at as well as where how many enemies are present. But I really don't like that I can't build radar stations in the Philippines. Yeah, I mean, it could take a little longer than normal because you probably have to move equipment from the United States to the Philippines. But, you know, that's just a cost of building, in my opinion, uh, the radar stations. Let's see. Warplan Gold attack the French. Well, they're already gone. Oh, Free France is technically not gone, but the X is doing very well. Armored Infantry. Bonus for motorized. Department of Defense. We get more command power. Lower the autonomy of a subject. We can reduce them to an integrated puppet. That honestly sounds like a lot of fun. Close air support. Battleship. Battleship. Base strike. I'm not even using base strike. And we can build naval bases in Guam and Manila. Uh, carriers. Naval bombers. Radar. Uh, let's go with carrier primacy. Primacy. Well, manage subjects. Let's see. This will give us what? Overlord trade costs, civilian and military industry to overlord. Master can build constructions on subjects' territory. Now, can I do that? Maybe. See, look, same thing. You still can't build any sort of radar stations. Kind of, kind of not cool, man. All right. Let's keep it going, guys. We've got a couple of ships. Here, operating in the Mariana region. And this is a patrol fleet. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Task Force 9, a carrier, two heavy cruisers, and eight... Ooh, eight destroyers. I thought, I thought it was nine. But regardless, that's still pretty good. All right. So we have a single marine division, which is honestly very bad. That's my fault. Very, very bad. Uh, but I need more heavy fighters right now. Which are taking forever to produce. Because... We will have to attack Taiwan control bombs. Uh, heavy fighters, split these guys up in half. Uh, the Philippine Sea should be good enough without any sort of extra help, and you guys come to the South China Sea. And right now, I don't think we need any sort of extra help in the Mariana region. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Peace conferences is, cal is over. Calculating effects, oh god, no. Oh. So, Germany took 150 states, Legendary Romania took three, the Soviet Union was annexed, Finland... The Mongol Empire and Kyrgyzstan was liberated. Wait, why'd you liberate Kyrgyzstan? Whatever. Uh, let's pull this guy's off. We can position those ground crews to do something else a little better. Uh, we actually have a fleet down here? Oh, it's the, the battleship fleet that's trying to repair. Docked in Midway. Well, are you repairing or are you just kind of hanging out? Um, I need you to the South China Sea. They'll probably make it over there. Oh my. Oh my. Gosh. Oh, look at. 
Finland was puppeted. Yeah, they took all of Finland and then gave them the the Allen Islands. Oh my gosh. You can't even tell that Romania got any bigger. Wow. Holy crap. And why 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 Kyrgyzstan? I mean, I guess it makes sense if they want to keep the keep at bay some Asians, but I mean that that itself doesn't make any sense. Bishkek who are you led by? Some Jurgal Rasulov. You're pretty con- You're not even fascist! Oh, you're not even a puppet! You were just liberated! Wow! I can't think of Nazis as liberators. Jesus Christ. This is weird. This is one heck of a weird timeline. Now they're probably- The Germans are probably going to focus on the UK. That's a lot of divisions. Uh, it's good to see that the Germans are on all adults serve. But they do have 700 divisions, 140-ish ships, a little bit of manpower, a ton of factories, of course. I would not be surprised if we soon see some German divisions or German volunteers sent to Japan. So, uh, why are you over here? Like, this makes no sense. Doc, I want you to do this. Naval invasion support here. Uh, one, there are one task forces assigned to naval invasion support in the region, but none of them are close enough to get to gain naval supremacy. Well, I don't see this particular fleet doing anything else anywhere else, and it doesn't seem like you really need to, you know, repair yourselves. No one is repairing. I want you to come over here. Like, seriously, what the heck? Alright, so you're getting over there. I don't mind them repairing, as long as it makes sense somewhere. Like, Manila... I don't mind you coming to Manila, because that would give you a pretty easy place to repair at. So let's do that. We'll give the give the game a little bit of time for us to do that. Uh, let's see. You guys can come over here. And we got a couple ooh, readings. Sunk two Japanese convoys in exchange for a plane. Senator retires, so we lose eight, because that makes total sense. Um, not, not really concerned about that at all. What is going on over here? Subs are trying to raid some more Japanese convoys. That's good. And have the has the fleet made it over here yet? No, but the Marines have. I want you to come up here. Come from a party over here. You probably won't be able to make it, but that's okay. Oh man, I need any more supplies coming through to the Philippines. I think. I'm going to build a new naval dockyard right here so that we can get some more supplies not going through the Philippines, the South China Sea, and instead we can come through the Philippine Sea. That should work. Should. 200 planes. Um, any more heavy fighters? Yes, please. Yeah, both of these are not doing well at all. Holy crap. 800 fighters versus... Three hundred that makes no sense. Especially with the, the size of the groups we've got. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we at least had a, some of our fleet there. Help take out some of the Japanese planes. Uh India, you want to move troops through our, through our territory, that's fine with me. Hmm, this is not good. But I really need the Marines to invade. Base pilot promoted. It's only one division. That's so incredibly not good. <laughs> There's no better way to say it than just not good. However, I will add a few tactical bombers here to help out the invasion force. I want to make sure that these guys are fully deployed first. All I want them to do is just to help with the ground attack. Very cool. I'm trying to see. Energy 44 submarine hull. So that does help us out create better subs. This guy will remain on duty, or this t research slot will remain on duty, eh, maybe in 63 days. Yeah, I'm going to wait, maybe just, no, no, I'm going to produce the next level of subs right now. Because these torpedoes, whatever, I always can go ahead and repair other stuff later, and build stuff up. Oh, here we are. It's 1944 submarine hull A1. Oh, we don't have that much naval XP. So we got... Oh, Oh, submarine engine four. Even more speed. Actually, that's pretty slow in my opinion for a submarine. Huh. Uh, then again, I'm not. I got like that. Oh wait, 
Those uh, those torpedoes we were just looking at, I think, are for destroyers and light cruisers. Anyways, uh, yeah, add some more of those. Since these are subs, I'm gonna do that. We have a snorkel. As much as I love radar, you you want as little sub visibility as possible with as much surface detection and as well as sub detection can be zero. It doesn't really matter. I mean, this gives you sub detection, but it doesn't matter. And I'm using subs only for really convoy rating, so you really only need snorkels. So this makes your sub visibility 2.5. That's so tiny, or that's so good. And look, 126 torpedo attack. Holy crap. 6,000 range. Jesus Christ. All right, that's good. We're going to replace all of the current subs. Well, this one soon. And then we'll replace this one since it's not even halfway through with the latest submarines. Hmm, cruiser hole, cruiser hole. All right, so we've got one more that I'm going to forget about very soon that's currently producing stuff in Oregon. You guys can go ahead since the plane's all ready to go. We've got six extra subs up here, as well as a few extra down. 19, holy crap. That's a lot of subs. Uh, you come down here. Oh, Task Force 6 only has... Oh, Jesus, that's so not good. All right, so I'm going to have these uh, operating in the assigned fleet. Combine. And if you let them go, these 19 subs will now go ahead and join Task Force 6. So there'll be a total of 21 uh, subs within the same subgroup. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, holy crap! We've been losing a ton of stuff here. Oh, it's because the Japanese are moving convoys, and the convoys actually have a ton of AA on them. Two Japanese convoys can shoot down an American tactical bomber. I'm not saying that's impossible, but that's kind of nuts. Alright, Marines. Please don't get killed by enemy uh, naval bombers. Please have no one... Oh, this province actually has airplanes on it. Or an airbase. And... Oh, there's no one here! What are you doing? What are you doing, Japan? What you doing, man? Alright, anyways. we got to pause. Coasts and defense have to immediately come over here. Yeah, which is good. Alexander Patch. And there's a reason I chose Alexander Patch, because he's got a commando out of supply. Uh, skill trait. And I'm not going to leave here because it, it will be my goal now to slowly put more divisions into Taiwan. Now, I want to conquer all this, but I'm not going to move until we have all the coastal divisions, and I'll slowly, slowly start putting more divisions over here. I suppose three at a time. I know, I know, this is probably terrible to do, but I have to do it like this. Three at a time. I'm, I know I'm going to lose a couple convoys coming this way, because once we get to... We have Taiwan mostly. Ooh... Japanese plane, a few ships there. Once we have Taiwan fully secured with extra ships around, oh nice, like a heavy cruiser and a destroyer, we will invade Okinawa, and then we will prepare an invasion of the Japanese mainland. If I don't have nukes by them. Because I know that the United States has a special event. If you can nuke Japan twice, I know that was a that was a Thing they added in a while ago but I don't know if it's here yet I don't know if, I know it's an I know it's an event I know that for a fact uh -oh. hmm. I don't see it at all that sucks all right well let's go ahead and speed it up just a little bit um, by a little bit I mean all the way to max speed uh, the Philip you know what I'm gonna add the Filipino division to our coast and defense since we're going to be defending the coast of the Philippines anyways Oh, since you're here, you might as well try to come to here and actually... Oh, nice! We took out an, a great port! Level 10? Jesus, that's awesome. Juan, I need Taipei. But to do that... Oh, no. Look, this is exactly what I'm talking about. These guys are getting shelled or destroyed by torpedoes. But they made it! Awesome. You guys get over here. Take Taipei so we can actually build up a ton of radar, a massive airbase... Tons of infrastructure, and probably some anti-air as well. So that would prove to be very useful. Ooh. Let's see. We sunk, holy crap, 11 more destroyers. Awesome. And an early battleship. Great job, guys. Great job. And we lost a sub. Don't, don't talk about that. Okay. All right. Nice. The Marines are just blazing a trail through here. Since we've got three divisions, I feel confident that only one really needs to defend this area. Ah, we have Taipei. Good. Build up some radar so we can see what's going in the waters around us. 
we will need a ton of infrastructure, and you might as well build some of this up as well. Uh, shut these up as well. Luzon, eh, naval bases, whatever. That's old. That's old news, man. Let's see. Whatever. And, we sunk another destroyer. Japan. You have t less than 25 ships. Good. They have a lot of manpower, though. They, I, I know they have a lot of uh, divisions stationed on their mainland. Ah, yes. Taiwan is very American. Now, this being said, I will probably need another spot for supplies coming in. Do I want to put it over in the sea by Japan, the Japanese mainland, as well as their Japanese-held or Japanese-controlled Chinese territory, or put it down here in the South China Sea? Hmm. Well, that would make it a little easier if we invaded from Taiwan over here. I'm just thinking about the supply route right now, because we have supply coming through this area, the East China Sea. That could really hurt us. But if we have air superiority enough, we should be okay. So, Taipei, since you're the closest to mainland Ch Japan, as well as Okinawa. I think I'm going to do that. And we lost a convoy. God dang it. Come on. Shot down an enemy plane. Anything else going on around here? And we come over here, and we lost three planes. So, Australia and the Allies lost all of Papa. Papao. Good job, guys. Great job. Now, the Japanese are doing... A Really good job against the Indians. Holy crap. But they've been holding out very, very well in Africa. And I'm saying that as soon as... Oh my gosh. Italy's just carving them up over here in this whole point. Oh. Let me guess. I need more rubber. Chromium. I need more chromium. Well, Cuba, I'm glad you're not my puppet. Or you'd probably be wanting to be released by now. Uh, let's do that one up. Throw them onto the coasts and defenses. Because, by God, they're going to defend their own homeland whether they like it or not. Alright, so the Marine Division, I'm not going to send you yet. Probably not. Yeah, I'm not going to send you yet because we have no naval base over there. But, oh wow. Oh yeah, oh man, what the heck. We have, we should have fighters coming over here. Oh, I know some of them are doing the Philippine Sea as well. Fighter group fighters, it's not too bad. Actually, come up here and help out with the Philippine Sea as well. Over here, though, yeah, we got 200 P-47 Thunderbolt A-1 heavy fighters. And they'll definitely do the East China Sea, which we need to boost up. Should be is a key word there. Oh, we got some enemies trying to bomb us. And we've lost another convoy, god dang it. Oh, we did lose a division, god dang it. That's my fault, but it's just... They're just necessary casualties to make it to Japan, so. Hmm. We don't have really enough range for me to bomb the home islands of Japan. What I'm currently thinking of is for me to send a crap ton of naval bombers, not naval bombers, tactical bombers, to strike at the Japanese homeland, but strike at their air bases. I really want to strike their air bases because then they won't have any planes that they could really send from send to us against us from their mainland. Nice shot on two morning planes and we just finished up carrier primacy. Naval bombers, maritime commission, dockyard construction speed. Well that's kind of late for that. Trade convoys, invasion, amphibious invasion speed, not bad. Armored infantry, department of, department of defense. Uh, let's see, recon engineers, mountaineers, uh, Louisiana maneuvers. I don't really need any of this. Armored infantry, close air support. Ah, let's get some more command power. Why not? I could use it when, especially with us trying to put more ground crews everywhere. So, how many divisions do we actually have on Taiwan? Four. It's not bad. Not good, but not bad. Oh, actually, you have all three divisions. Hopefully, at least two of these guys make it down here. Good. Yeah, let's keep time going on. Supplies are looking. Taiwan will soon have another naval base, which will be good. Very, very good. All right. Oh, what is this? Light cruiser and two destroyers. Yeah, like the last video states, J the Japanese fleet has been beat. And they're destroying in India. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. 
Oh. Uh, let's see, 1944. Better planes, better planes. Oh, uh, I gotta get strategic bombers if I want to use nukes. I gotta do that. Sunk two enemy convoys. Shot down two enemy planes. And... What is this? Four more divisions. Jesus Christ. Infinite divisions. Pretty much. Uh, for this, though, we're gonna start making some modern tanks. We're gonna go ahead and put them in here. Yes, yes, that'll hurt our production, but I'm going to convert oh, our, mo our medium tank production to modern tank patents. Which will, of course, hurt our medium tank production, but whatever. Very cool. Alright, two more American convoys. Oh, no. Oh, we lost this up. Okay, at least it wasn't another convoy. Uh, did someone get injured? Where's my main strike? Oh, there they are. My main strike force... Probably got injured a little bit. The Lockheed XP-58 Chain Lightning. That sounds awesome. Chain Lightning. Ah, the next level of Heavy Fighters are done. Tactical Bombers. I really need better carrier groups. Another better carrier planes. Heavy Fighters. Oh, you got... Oh, here we go. These will be the best fighters in the game. Uh, a little bit more reliability. Wait, hold on. Wait, so we have... North American Aviation. Okay, so sometimes you get a research and production airplane producer that can give you more reliability. I currently don't have that, so I just wanted to double check. So we need a little bit more reliability, and I want more range. We already have good range. We want more agility, and maybe better weapons. That hurt our reliability a little bit more, and now we have a pretty good general heavy fighter. So we get a little bit more range, a little more max speed, because, you know, these planes aren't the fastest. And a little bit more air attack. Good. Chain lightning. I love that. Unlimited power. Oh, God, no. No, what's going on? No! These boys are so young. And we only have five divisions over there. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just... There's really nothing else I can do. Patrol... Do naval invasion support. And, yeah, you're already undoing that... They're moving to the naval base. Oh. Advanced ship torpedo launchers. Hmm. I could use better cannons. Battleship, heavy attack, light attack. Trans oh, transports. I should have done this a while ago. Invasion defense. Oh, yeah. God dang it. I, sh I really should have done that before. Alright. Got down an enemy plane. And we have a naval... A naval base over here. Awesome. So go ahead. I think this is probably suicide doing this. But we're going to try to invade that island. But we do have a little bit of radar. That does help. A little bit of radar always helps. No matter what anyone tells you. In my personal opinion, radar is pretty good. You want your ships. It helps your fleet. It helps your army. It's just so helpful. And down here, um, naval bombers, patrol bombers, tactical bombers, heavy fighters. Uh, we have regular fighters. I don't want to use regular fighters over here. I could probably pull off one or two of these heavy fighters. Yeah, pull off this one. And I'm going to pull off... Uh, I already have enough naval bombers. Some tactical bombers. Pull them off. Come to the East China Sea. And let's all have a good time together. Send your votes for government proposal. Very good. I'm not sure what the proposal was. But, eh, I'll probably get defeated in the House of Representatives. Yeah, they have a ton of fighters here. Hmm. Close air support could help. I just need more fighters. If I put fighters here, carrier fighters, I got a lot of naval bombers. Yeah, increase heavy fighters. We need just a ton of heavy fighter production. And uh, I can remove probably some of this. That should help a little bit. A little bit more production. Motorized can go down by a little bit. Artillery can definitely go down by a little bit. Oh my gosh. Cuba, give me everything you got. That's good. Asiatic Fleet 2. How's that looking? How's this fleet doing? Uh, we've got a carrier. Still. Mm, they're not doing that great. They're doing okay. Not great. These subs have 10. We're going to wait to de redeploy those. Our subs are looking pretty okay-ish. I mean, Task Force 5 has two subs. But the rest look generally okay. I mean, Task Force 1 is 9. But, you know, that's better than none. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they just are killing our convoys. Lost a plane. Ooh. <gasps> Amphibious tractors. Amtraks. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, let's get the next pet. Readjust our marine templates. Since I want them want them to invade super soon. Super, super soon. And why are you guys over here? Like, oh, I told you to come over here instead of just doing any sort of mission. What is this? There's an exclamation point. They probably don't get enough supply through here. Uh, bomber defense? Yeah, go ahead and do that. Let's see. Air Force. Night operations penalty. Air safety. Air accidents. Uh, night operations penalty. Well, I don't know. How many planes do we lose due to accidents? Equipment details. Got a lot of planes. CB naval bombers. Enemy air support is 100%. Ground support. Interception defense. I don't know. So, I'm going to do what I feel is right. Which, you should never act on emotion like this. Uh, accidents. Well, we always have accidents. So, this would apply more often than just night operations. Because the night time is only considered like 12, you know, half, 50% of the entire day. So, I'm going to do that. And then, you guys come over here. And then, any other divisions? Well, you guys should, honestly, just go ahead and let everyone train. I know a lot of you guys are pretty good already. But, some of you guys, y'all need to exercise. You're becoming too fat. Alright. Oh my god, we just need so many more planes around here. But at least we're reaching strategic bombers, and the Japanese will never know what hits them. Something tells me they might make some new cartoons after they've been nuked. Or hit twice. I don't know what nukes are. What are nukes? What? Oh man, they definitely know that we they don't want us here. I'm so Oh god, India fell. Apprehensive about sending my boys here. But I guess the show must go on. We'll see what happens. No, you're not the boys I want to send. Uh, let's see you guys. If I send you to a void. Oh, that's a plane. You still won't go, but if I send you to a loud you still won't go. Oh, it's because we don't have naval access. That's right. Well, my battle force, battle fleet, good luck. Godspeed. I hope you got a lot of naval AA on your guns. Come on, like. Just don't say my name in vain. Okay. No. <laughs> Nice, another sub sunk. Uh, if we take the air base, they can't send more planes to us. Come on, Naha. Okay, no one was there. You know? Okay, then. I don't know what took the Americans so long to invade. In real life, what the heck? Uh, actually, you, you rebase here. They just rebase there. That'll be good. And... Since we will have some coast and defense coming this way, once they arrive here, then I'm going to continue to take the rest of this island, make more ports maybe, increase the infrastructure, the airbase sizes, and we are definitely within range to strike at the Japanese mainland, which is freaking awesome. Do we have any more planes here just in case? Uh, not really, but do this and... Where are those tactical bomber boys? Level 2. You guys are probably going to get torn the hell up. Uh, you don't need to do close air support. Strategic bombing. Mm, I don't think they'll have nukes. Definitely destroy that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And destroy mostly their air bases. Yeah. I don't want any sort of AA. Any sort of radar. That'll be good. You are going to be in high priority. Uh, we could invade the homeland islands. They're probably going to get shot down. A bunch of them will, will definitely get shot down. But regardless, we're going to end that here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. What have we done? We Well, we've definitely expanded our influence. And we are within striking range of the Japanese home islands. The Axis has won their war against the Soviets. So the common turn. And India has fallen. But, you know, despite all the negatives, next episode we might just invade the homeland islands of Japan. We've come this far, and if we can do that, that would put us in a spectacular position to push against the Axis in Asia, uh, through Asia, 
and to Europe. One heck of a bad way to get to Europe. So, regardless, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as your dedicated host, Mr. Mocha Lover. Thanks for watching.